This variety of yucca, common name is Spanish dagger, sometimes referred to as the banana leaf yucca. And this is the yucca that you would use to make sandals. Growing next to this is the narrow leaf. The narrow leaf is what we would use to make the string or the ties for this sandal. Okay, so we've selected our yucca leaves. And what you want to do is you want to roast these. You can see this color change. And I can feel the sugar inside the leaves start to cook. Here in the Southwest, our climate is so dry that textiles like sandals retain enough for us to look at and we can figure out how everything was constructed. The first bend is simple. It's just in half. The next part has a different bend and I'm going to bend it so that it sort of looks kind of like a horseshoe bend and it's going to go under one over two and under one. And the second leaf is going to go over one, under two, and over one. The third leaf goes under one, over two, and under one. And then we'll pull. There. See how it's starting to come together? This style would have been worn in a rocky terrain on limestone deposit so it had to be thick it had to be really super durable so you can see it starting to taper down a little bit i've got uh, a sewing kit that's made out of a deer antler i've got a thimble to push needles through a lock to hold the kit together and inside i have needles this is actually an elk antler. So what I'm going to do is take this hammer down. There's so much fiber in here. And that's what's protecting your foot is all that fiber that's on the inside. So this will become the heel strap and the side straps. I'm going to raise this and I'm going to pull that through. And I'm going to go ahead and put a hole right here. This is the, the yucca narrow leaf compared to this leaf. So this will become the, the lace for this shoe. I'm going to start by rolling the cordage under the palm of my hand. These, these two have to be rolled at the same time. And I'm going to roll it forward again. It's a cool technology. 